it's so cute hunties mommies it's a cute one oh girl there's nothing like chilling with my girls just me and my divas taking over the world What's up, you guys? What's up? What's up, you guys? So today is like a dramatic hair color change. I think I'm just going to just try this color. I think like out of all the colored hair colors, I think like this one is the one that I would definitely rock. Like that's not natural, but colored, I would definitely rock this. So by lace or a lace wig. Sent me a bob wig. Okay. So y'all see from the thumbnail. It's a bob wig, girl. It's a bob wig. So comes in this green and white packaging, tropical. I'm not really sure if it's going to look like this always, but I think it's pronounced Belace, Belace wig. I'm not sure. When you do get a wig cap, a stocking cap, you also get one of these little cute brushes that you can just carry along with you. The small ones are cute because you can carry them with you. You also get one of these little brochures. And you also get an elastic band, which I've already went ahead and sewed into the cap. 13 by 6, free part, gray, straight bob. So it is gray, like an icy gray. This is it. She's really pretty. Um, sometimes when you look in the light, it kind of reminds you of like a lavenderish color, but it's really pretty. Like it has like these different color gray highlights in it, so it's really pretty. And it comes with the combs right here and one here along with that you know i put in an elastic band and in the back is the comb and the adjustable strap first of all y'all know i don't really do anything with color without any dark roots so i just left it i didn't do anything i didn't tint the lace the lace color is like dead spot on so it's not too dark or light and it's not like that you know almost whitish color so I just left it, no dark roots, you know what I'm saying? The only thing that I did was pre-pluck the hairline some. This is just straight out the box. The only thing I did was pre-pluck it, didn't even wash it. This is how it came style. It feels really good. It's nice and soft. It's nice and full. I'm not really sure what the density is, but I'll definitely post everything below for you guys. I want to make sure that I have the right color lace or right color wig cap. So I have... A very light one, which I'm pretty sure is not going to work out. This one, which is a little bit yellowish. I used to use this, but I think it depends on the color of the hair. And then I have like this brown one. So first I'm going to find out which stocking cap I'm going to use. And then, you know, then we're going to get to styling this bad boy. How I use my stocking cap and keep it on, my wig stayed on, my braid wig stayed on for a whole week. Okay. And I took it off today, which is Friday. But the way I did it, it really held on really well. I used the Got To Be Glam Force 48 Hour Hold Gel, but I take that gel and I squeeze it into a jar like this and it kind of like gets thicker and it's not as runny. So I keep it in this so that way when I'm ready to use it, it's a lot thicker and more tackier than coming straight out the tube. So I think it's because this doesn't go screw on as tight. So it kind of like oxidizes it. It gets air. And also because I have it open as I'm styling my hair. So that's what I use. And I also use this right here. The got to be glam for some way hour hold. You know what I'm saying? Hairspray. But so let's just do this. Okay, thing. ladies. So the first one I'm going to try on is kind of like this reddish brown lace cap or wig cap. And I just want to see how it looks through the actual lace wig. And not really too happy with that one. So I'm going to try this one here, which is more or less a little bit close to my shade. And this one is a little bit more noticeable. And for the third one, this is a little bit too light. So let's try the very last one, which is more of a very yellowish tone. A little bit darker than the second one. So between the two, I'm going to choose this light one right here. And I'm just going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut the top of it. This will prevent the wig cap from slipping back. So all you need to do is just cut the top. And I'm just going to pull the wig cap down over my ears. Just a little bit. And I'm just going to take my got to be hairspray and I'm going to spray the top of the cap. Along with that, I'm going to spray along my hairline or just a little bit below it. 
and you just want to do short spritz you don't have to douse it but just make sure that you have it around the entire front perimeter along with that if you spray some on the top of the wig cap it will allow the wig cap to adhere to your own natural hair preventing the wig cap from slipping back so that is the reason why i spray and i'm going to just blow dry it on a cool to medium heat just allowing it to dry faster if you don't have a blow dryer you can allow it to air dry but it may not dry as precise as you would like it to so I would suggest getting yourself like a really cheap blow dryer you don't have to spend a lot of money five dollar ones at like the Dollar General or Family Dollar will work just as well and then once that has dried you want to go ahead and just spray a second coat of your hairspray I like to use the got to be glam force 48 hour hold hairspray because it does dry quickly especially if you are adhering your lace wig and you don't have a blow dryer plus to me the hold is a little bit more stronger than the freeze blast but that's just in my opinion along with even just styling your hair and holding curls this glam force does really hold the curls a lot better so once that's dried you want to go ahead and take your small scissors I would suggest a small pair of scissors especially since you're going to be really close to your hair or your skin and you want to trim away any of the extra cap that has not been hairsprayed down and if you go a little bit too far down where you sprayed you can easily just lift it up pull it up this is the reason why I say make sure you have a small pair of scissors because as you guys see you have to cut really close to your skin so you don't want to make any mistakes or girl you'll be going to the hospital and I'll just tuck that extra piece of cap behind my ears now I'm just gonna make sure there aren't any type of straggly hairs or straggly pieces of fabric you know what I'm saying you guys know what I mean so see this is where the small pair of scissors come in handy especially the curved ones you can pick these up at any local pharmacy dollar general dollar tree what have you now to adhere my wig i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to be using the got to be glam force styling gel and as i guys told you as i told you guys i do place it in a jar and that's how i use mine so that way it's a lot more tackier versus it in the bottle I'm just going to take the back of my eyebrow trimmer and I'm just going to smear that. Well, not smear it, but, you know, neatly apply that to the edges of the actual wig cap. So that way there's, they, it just lays flat, you know, it looks really neat. You know what I'm saying? You just want it to melt in your skin. So, yeah. Take a little bit of time. You can get yourself a brush, a spatula, whatever you feel comfortable with, girl. And just go ahead and apply that gel. But I would highly suggest putting it in like a little jar so that way it's not as runny and it dries extra quick and it's easier to apply. It just makes the whole process a lot easier, especially when you're applying it, it'll allow it to lay down. And I just applied a little bit extra on the sides, you know, just a second coat over that. This is optional but this is just what i'm gonna do and don't mind that little hair right there unfortunately my nails are dirty and let me tell you guys something prior to this video that i recorded i went ahead and um dyed a wig green so i use the kiss you know watercolor method and that stuff is a mess so it was all stuck in my skin and my nails so that's the reason why my hands and my skin my fingernails are like a greenish color due to me just prior to this video um dying a wig the wig actually came out nice so you guys see that in soon to come video but you want to go ahead and make sure that it's all dry and that is how it shall look so it's nicely stuck down so now we're going to move on to the next method which is putting this wig on you guys so it's a really cute wig i like the color a lot you know like i said i did pre-pluck it i wasn't going to in the beginning but i did notice it was just a little bit too thick for my taste but it does come pre-plucked so for you guys who don't really know how to do that the hairline wasn't that bad but you know i just really wanted it to look really really natural as possible especially because it didn't have dark roots so uh, here we go again with the lace I mean this part is optional but I would really highly suggest that you cut the lace off of the front of your wig girl you know what I'm saying cut it off 
but don't cut it too far back to the hairline you know what i mean you don't want any of those hairs falling out yes i know i'm cutting far back but i did want some of those hairs off so i'm just going to clean up that extra hairspray and gel that you know went past the hairline and you know get yourself either a warm washcloth a baby wipe a makeup wipe you know what i'm saying whatever just don't use any type of cotton swabs because the cotton will attach to your hair so don't do that now for this part this is definitely optional but you know hey it's what i would do if i were you i'm just gonna make me some sideburn hairs you know what i'm saying i feel like this makes it look oh so natural and i'm gonna get me a couple of wispy hairs going or baby hairs going as well take yourselves a nice rat tail comb and make those and then just go back into that got to be glam force gel and apply that to your sideburn hairs as you guys see right here i'm sculpting them down just sculpting them down i'm gonna thin it out a little bit i didn't want it that thick so i'm just gonna brush some of them up as you guys see right here and you know just sculpt away me and my green fingernails now to adhere my wig i'm going to take the glam force got to be hairspray again and i'm just going to adhere it and i'm going to spray it behind the wispy hairs or the baby hairs that i have created and i'm just going to take that blow dryer on cool to medium heat and i'm just going to blow it dry but if you don't have a blow dryer, this is optional you can definitely just use your rat tail cone and spray in small sections don't spray the whole thing so because I say this because it does air dry really quickly so if you don't have a blow dryer just spritz a little bit at a time and just repeat that on the opposite side I would highly suggest repeating it because you'll have one side adhered and the other side not so now here's the fun part we're gonna go ahead and just cut away trim away our baby hairs I mean but if you really like them long like that then girl do you go ahead and rock them baby hairs as long as you want but you know for me, I'm just going to cut them a little bit shorter, trim them down, and take my hairspray and spray that onto my toothbrush and just create me a little hairline here, something, you know. Now, being that it doesn't have dark roots, you really can't tell where it is, or maybe you can, I'm not really sure, but I like the front part a lot because it's very transparent, um, and, you know, I like that it's transparent. I'm pretty sure everybody was probably still know this is a wig but either way I like it you know it kind of like melted in my skin and I'm just gonna go ahead and create that on the opposite side you always got to have you a good toothbrush girl even for your teeth a good toothbrush is always you know a really good idea so see how that melted now the time is come for me to style it so I'm gonna go ahead and make me a part in this And I'm going to take my wax stick and I'm just going to just put a little bit on each side of the part and along with that the front area this will help my method right here with the hot cone just to press it in a little bit more this is just something we call training the hair so training the part so you just take your hot comb or whatever you have on standby it doesn't have to be a hot comb but if you want to know where i purchased this hot comb from i did get it from walmart for 20 dollars, and i actually really do love it because it has temperature control on it so it gets hot super duper fast as well and 20 dollars is not bad for a hot comb so just going to press into the hairline so that way i can allow this to just be a little bit more flatter but be extra careful when you're doing this method if you do have a mannequin head like a canvas mannequin head i would highly suggest pressing it on that instead especially if you're not used to doing it on yourself because these things get pretty hot and you really don't want to burn yourself because girlfriend let me tell you a burn mark in a wig aren't too cute so yeah if you have a canvas wig block head definitely press it out on that this hair is just really pretty the flyaways did drive me a little bit crazy as you guys will see later on in the video but for the most part it worked really well straight out the box all i did was just pre-pluck the hairline and sew the elastic band on i think it came out great um for me to not do dark roots i was really surprised so i hope you guys enjoy the rest of this video and yeah i guess i'll stop talking right now
inches, but I have never gotten one 12 inches that was this length. So listen, for the first time with this wig company, I was very impressed. They do have some nice wigs, okay? The color did not come off on my hands, unlike the green wig that I was just reviewing that I dyed myself. But the color came out nice on it, you know what I'm saying? Um, the hairline, all you gotta do is tweeze some of it. For the most part, it looks good. The lace is kind of like very transparent around here. But I think for the most part, I like this. This is cute. It's so different. You know what I'm saying? You know, I hated bobs. I freaking hated bobs. Like seriously, I did not like nobody's bob. Bob's burger, bob. Bob, Bob, Bob. But I think like they like they wore on me. Like they wore me down. They did. They just wore me down. So I like them. Anyway, enough of me rambling on because I held y'all long enough. So Belace, Belace, Belace wig. I think it's called Belace, Belace. I think Belace. That's how we're going to say it, okay? You can check them out. I will post all of the information below for this 13 by 6 lace frontal in the color gray. So check the description box. I love you guys. Stay diva and delicious. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, thumbs this video up, and share with everybody. And I'll see you guys in a soon-to-come video.